Hi Taurus family, welcome to With Love Tarot. I'm back with your Love Tarot reading for April of 2020. This is going to be about somebody who is most on your mind, whether you are currently dating this person or this could even be an ex. I pick up on a lot of different messages during these love readings, including breakup energy. So I'm just taking the messages that the tarot most gives me. I'm also including an extended version of this reading, which will be in a link in the description of this video, as well as in a comment below, where I will be taking an in-depth look at this relationship. And I'm also including a reconciliation situation tarot reading for those of you who are wondering whether you'll reconcile with this person around this time period and also how to bring one in. And that will also be in a link in the description of this video and in a comment below. Are you ready? So before your reading, I took a crystal oracle card. Um, and I just received this deck, so I'm so excited to be using this. And what popped out here is Emerald. Lucky you. This is so beautiful. Emerald is my favorite. And this is going to be something that you need to meditate on or just take on its energy. So I'm going to read the messages for you. Its meaning is giving and receiving love, opening your heart to friendship, embracing unity. Love is meant to flow through you from within and without, cleansing your energy field so that you can feel your soul's worth and know that you are always loved. Love may not be coming to you right now in the form you prefer, but don't overlook its presence. Express love toward yourself and others. Remember, loving your neighbor means starting at home with self-love. Now is the time to set aside the obstacles that block you from receiving, experiencing, and expressing love, and simply be the love that you want to see in the world and in your life. Very nice. It's all about law of attraction. Coming into mutual energies between you and your person, we have five of pentacles with the eight of cups and nine of wands. Now these are very specific messages, so they're not going to apply to everybody out there. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. You can also check your rising and moon signs as well. So with the five of pentacles off the bat, what this tells me is that some of you guys uh, might not be in communication with your person, or if you are, it's probably not the best. Okay. Now, sometimes I get this card when somebody blocked the person from communication or, you know, somebody is also feeling left out in the cold and <laughs> Raja says, hello. And this could also indicate somebody is feeling a lack of something or, you know, even not good enough for some reason. Okay. So I'll clarify that in just a few minutes. With the eight of cups here too, guys, um, somebody, either you, your person with the eight of cups, somebody, either you, your person or the both of you could have walked away. This could be energy that I'm picking up from the past that's trickling into the present, okay? But guys, there is a feeling of somebody walked away uh, from a difficult situation. It wasn't easy at the same time because this is about putting a lot of emotional investment into something. And the feeling is like your hand being forced to just cash in and um, walk away. doesn't mean forever, but it's the feeling of you know, choosing to walk away from something that maybe was really emotionally draining at the same time. Also, um, the message I'm getting with the visual is walking toward clarity, right? The full moon is illuminating this person's pathway, okay? So you could have walked away to get answers on something or, you know, something happened here. So with the Knight of Wands, guys, uh, some of you could be dealing with a water sign, an earth sign or fire sign so far. Okay, so the first storyline coming through here is that this person could have been in and out of your life. This could have been an on again, off again relationship. I say that because with the eight of cups and five of pentacles with the other cards here, you know, this could have been somebody who was non-committal or is currently, you know, doing this behavior and you just said enough was enough. Not necessarily so. I realize that not all of you are dealing with a breakup. Okay. It could simply also indicate that there's very much a passionate feeling uh, still in this union that you guys feel passionately about each other. You are attracted to your person and your person is attracted to you too. Okay. 
some of you could have received a message from this person or are in contact with them, okay, with the knight here. For your person's actions toward you, wow, we have judgment. Okay, guys, so judgment is one of my top reconciliation cards or at least indicating that somebody is willing to have a do-over. It's that kind of energy coming through here. So for those of you who are not dealing with a breakup and are with your person, this is simply moving forward and choosing to leave the baggage behind you and start fresh with a clean slate. Okay, it's a really nice energy, right? This is like life after death, so to speak, you know, a, hearing the call to something, having an epiphany, realizing what truly matters, moving on from it, and but also doing so with leaving whatever didn't work behind you. For those of you who are not with your person, this could indicate that your person either has actively communicated this to you, that they do want to have a second start with you, or this is at least the steps that they want to take. Okay, it could be clearing the air for some of you out there that they want to clear the air in this situation. With the King of Cups, Hierophant, and Six of Cups, you're likely dealing with somebody who's pretty significant to you. Uh, some of you have either known this person for a while, you could go way back with them, or you just feel that way, all right? Because this is somebody from your past or somebody you've been dealing with for a while. Also, too, around this time period, um, they could be replaying memories of you or revisiting a happier time or just like tapping into that mental mind space. You represent some type of nostalgia to them as well. It's really nice. I say that this could be pretty significant because with the Six of Cups, we have the Hierophant. So guys, this could be somebody that you had a commitment with in some way or the other. You could have been married to this person or just in a long-term relationship, lived with them or felt that way or are currently, you know, some of you are with this person and do have a real commitment here, okay? So guys, for actions toward you, regardless of what's happening here, I see that I don't see any bad motives on their part. I really don't see any negative energy here. I see that they have a lot of love for you okay and they are contemplating reaching out to you or at least communicating this to you that they do have a lot of love to you and also perhaps could be taking some type of steps in their life where they do want to uh, bring this relationship to the next level or have more of a traditional relationship with you whatever that means for you but their actions look really, really nice. So I like to see that. And, and like I said, you really could be dealing with somebody from your past here. Okay, not all of you, but some of you. With the Four of Swords and Strength, with how they view you, well, for some of you guys, if you're not in communication with your person, this is a literal meaning to me. They view you as somebody who could be taking a time out from this connection or somebody that they're just not in communication with. Or if you are, it's very little, okay? Because this is about taking a break or taking a time out, okay? Regardless of, with the Strength card, they view you as somebody who is very strong, um, courageous, and really communicates well or has the ability to communicate and is really not afraid to say what's on your mind, also very intelligent, okay? So they could also view you as like a force to be reckoned with, you know, nothing gets by you kind of energy here. So I'm gonna clarify everything here to get a little bit more specific. Okay, wow guys, we have the Three of Swords uh, clarifying mutual energies here. So this confirms that some of you are dealing with a breakup or at least a connection that could be on pause. 
not necessarily so this just also indicates something happened you know some type of heartache or sadness but wow this is very much um it's a sad energy here that this is mutual so it could be more on your person's part whether you're aware of it or not but both of you could really be um, missing each other and sad about this connection and again confirming feeling left out in the cold or blockage and you know forced to walk away okay I asked for another card on that we have the two of swords so there's a stalemate here at the same time and again it could be that you're not in communication with this person or if you are it's not a lot okay somebody could have really drawn their line in the sand and maybe had a discussion or a conversation took place here and there's not a lot of action it's like the both of you are not budging around this time period could be more on your person's part here also somebody is strategizing as you can see it's like this person is playing chess and figuring out what their next move is going to be okay it could be that you're dealing with an air sign or with somebody with air in their chart could also be that somebody is calling the other's bluff here, you know, waiting for the other person to crack with the communication. With the world card and Prince of Cups on your person's actions, yeah, the feeling is similar to the King of Cups. That they are thinking about something or they do want to make a move toward you. Uh, as you can see here in the Prince of Cups, we actually have Cupid himself. And <laughs> so... It's almost like your person wants to open up toward you or make an offer. It's really that message coming through here. With the world card here too, guys, a lot of major arcana on your person's actions. This could be that some type of chapter was closed out here, you know, and it could represent that after the breakup, an ending, or just simply a closing out of a cycle that wasn't working for you guys, could be a karmic cycle of some sort, that they do want to take actions to start again. We have the judgment card, so that's really confirming the message. If not a full-out do-over, at least perhaps reopening the lines of communication or bringing it to a successful state. You know, and for those of you who are with your person and you're just not dealing with a breakup, it's the same message of maybe closing out something that didn't work or closing out a chapter, moving forward, bringing the relationship to the next level and having some type of a commitment. You know, almost putting an end to the dating phase and going into commitment land, right? It's that kind of energy. So with the Five of Cups on how your person views you, man, something, I don't know what you guys are up to here, but they view you as really somebody that they're missing, okay? Remember, we have the Three of Swords here in Mutual Energies. So this is coming full circle. We start with the Three of Swords, Eight of Cups, and we are now ending with the Five of Cups for how they view you. So yeah, I, I have the feeling that for many of you out there, your person misses you or they see you as some type of missed opportunity. You know, they could be regretting something here. I asked for another card on that and we have the Nine of Cups. So it is because you are or were somebody who brings them a lot of emotional fulfillment. It's almost like you are their wish. They could be wishing on you, okay, for some of you out there. So look at this, opposite energies, right? The next cards we have here are how this person feels about you, what they want to say to you, but feel like they can't for some reason, and then the future energies of this relationship or connection uh, for this time period. And I will be continuing this reading over at Vimeo. So I hope you join me there. Taurus, I wish you a beautiful April and I will see you next time with love.